Hi guys, Lando Assistant here, and let's talk about some applications of quadratic equation. Here's our problem for today. Let's say a local newspaper currently has 84,000 subscribers at a quarterly charge of $30. Market research has suggested that if the owners raise the price to $32, they would lose 5,000 subscribers. Assuming that the subscription are linearly related to price, what price should the newspaper charge for a quarterly subscription to maximize their revenue? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by defining a variable P to be equal to the price per subscription and another variable capital Q to represent the quantity of subscription. Then the product of this price and the quantity of subscription would be equal to the total revenue. According to the problem, when the price is equal to $30, that's our P sub one, the volume of subscription is 84,000. So our Q sub 1 is 84,000. Then if the price is raised to $32, that is P sub 2 equals 32, then they would lose 5,000 subscribers. So from 84,000 subscribers, losing 5,000 of them would result to Q sub 2 equals 79,000. Now, assuming that the subscription are linearly related to price, what price should the newspaper charge for a quarterly subscription to maximize the revenue? So the keyword here is linearly related. That gives us a signal that we can use the linear function to relate the price to the quantity. Now, let's recall that the slope of the line can be computed using this formula, Q sub 2 minus Q sub 1 all over P sub 2 minus P sub 1. That is the chains in Q over the chains in P. This means a change in the volume of subscription over the chains in price. And solving for M, we have M equals negative 5,000 over 2 or M equals negative 2,500. So our slope is 2,500. Then let's recall that the equation of a line is given by the formula y equals mx plus b. Our y here is q. Our m is this negative 2,500 that we already computed. Our independent variable x is the price. We need to find the y-intercept b. Now using the ordered pair p sub 1 and q sub 1 substituted to this equation, we now have 84,000 for Q equals copy negative 2,500 and replace P by 30 and copy plus B. And solving for B, we have B equals 159,000. This is now our Y-intercept. Let's remember these values. Now look at this equation for the quantity and look at this value for B. We can now replace this B by 159,000 to arrive at this equation. Then let's go back to our revenue equation. R is equal to the price times Q. At this point, we already know the value of Q to be negative 2,500 P plus 159,000. So substituting this value of Q in this revenue function, we now have R equals, we copy the P and replace Q by this expression. And distributing P to this binomial, we arrive at R equals negative 2,500 P squared plus 159 P. And this is now our revenue function. Our goal is to maximize this function, that is, maximize the revenue. And how do we maximize this function? Notice that this is a quadratic function that opens downward. The graph of this function looks like this. And the maximum revenue of this graph happens at the vertex. So we need to find the coordinate of the vertex. And we know how to find that coordinate. The x-coordinate is given by h equals negative b over 2a, where our b is the coefficient of the linear term and a is the coefficient of the squared term. So therefore, h is equal to negative of 159,000 divided by copy this 2 and replace a by negative 2,500. And that gives us a value of h equals 31.8. This 31.8 now is the price that will give us the maximum revenue. So at p equals 31.8, we can now compute R by substituting this 31.8 to the revenue equation. And this gives us 
a value of R equals 2,528,100. And this 31.8, 2,528,100 is now the coordinate of the vertex of this parabola. So at price equals $31.8, the maximum revenue is 2,528,100. The maximum revenue happens at the vertex of this parabola. And if you want to learn math daily, here is our recommended video. Thank you very much, and this is Lando Assistant, and we hope to see you again in our next video.